Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be um, kind of like a review and a lip swatch video. The product that I'll be testing out today is the new L'Oreal Matte Lip Paints. They recently came out with like new colours. I believe they already had some shades, but they were like more bright colours. That's why I never really tried them. But they recently came out with like more nudie shades. These are what the colours look like. They look stunning. I did pick up three colours, there are there is another one called Naked Pink and that one was literally, I couldn't find it and it is more of like a pale pink so I thought like for my skin tone I'm not going to really get it because I think like the, it, it was kind of similar to these two but it was just a bit lighter um, and basically I didn't want to get it but the every little one that was in stock was literally used so I decided just to go with these three. It's more of like a nudie baby pink it's quite light I got them for $6.99 each and it was on a three for two offer at Boots so I picked free of course I got one free I'm all up for bargains as you know me but yeah I can't wait to try these out so let's go straight on to swatching these I'm gonna try the darker color first so I actually did get these today and I was in the rain so mind my face today I don't know if it does look a bit funny I mean I was sprayed in the face with rain, so there may be some cracks are in there, but that's normal. But anyways, um, I have nothing on my lips right now. So I'm going to go straight in with this colour first. This colour is called Nudist. The shade number is 212. And I'm going to quickly swatch it on my hand for you guys. It is kind of like a cool tone movie colour. And I do have to say these smell so nice. It just reminds me of something. But I can't point pinpoint it like <sighs> those smells so nice like I love scents so to be honest scents don't really bother me I know it can give like headaches to some people so just like with like one swipe it already went really pigmented I'm slowly getting the scent. <sighs> it smells like slush puppy, mental sweets, something like that. So this is the shade Nudist. So this shade is actually really nice. It's definitely a colour, I, when I saw this I thought this would be kind of like one of those grey colours that you know that they look nice but it's not something I would really wear outside but this colour I feel like I would actually wear it's really really nice someone did mention that they wanted to see the colours in daylight so this is what this colour looks like in natural daylight I'm outside um, it's, yeah it's really nice very natural wearable colour I feel like I have a spot there please mind it my first impression on this is actually quite good like First of all, the applicator, let me give you a quick close up. The applicator has this like dent in it and I feel like it fits perfectly on the lip and it has like that tip bit as well which allows me to get like really precise application. The sponge feels very very soft, almost like fluffy. So I'm really happy with the applicator, it's definitely like very convenient um, and very comfortable to use. Another thing that I like, it's not like, it's going on very smoothly and very evenly, there's no like uneven application, um, the colour is really nice. The thing is though, I've given it like, I would say 5 minutes, just under 5 minutes now and it's not drying, so I think this is more of like a creamy matte formula, so it's not going to dry completely, it's just more of like a matte opaque colour. Um, it's, it feels very moussey on the lips, very comfortable, not sticky at all, but yeah, it's not drying, it's just staying like a creamy matte. Right, so the next colour I'm going to use is called Nude on Fleek. This one's more of like a dark brown from the packaging, but let's swatch it. This is what the swatch looks like and it actually comes up more pink than I would have expected it to be. Like if you compare it to the packaging, I mean actually it's quite close but it's a bit lighter than the packaging. But I'm not too bothered by that, I mean it's still a really nice colour. Okay so let's go on to trying this colour. I find this video, this video so exciting. Okay. 
I do have to say that they're quite opaque once you apply them. I have a feeling that I might need a lip liner with this one, but we'll see. Quite pigmented lips for the fact that it's covering it in one swipe is quite impressive. There's definitely pigment. This is what this colour looks like by itself. So this colour is definitely really nice. It's definitely a colour I would really wear. I mean it is a, a tad bit, like not even that much. But I'm going to use some of my LA Girl True Brown Lip Liner and I'm just going to slightly darken the edges of it. See, I think, I think that made it a bit better. But this colour is really stunning. I, I, I do have to say that I'm very, very impressed with the pigment of these. They're really, really good. Right, so this is what this one looks like in daylight. Now on to the last one. The last one's called Dead Lips. This is the number 210. Like if you just compare the packaging, Nude on Fleek looks much darker than Dead Lips. So this is Dead Lips, Nude on Fleek and Nudist. When you compare Nude on Fleek to Dead Lips, it looks much warmer. So I definitely need a lip liner with this one, I can just tell. So I'm just going to quickly line my lips with the same lip liner. See, it's definitely a much lighter colour on me. This one's definitely a bit on the paler side for me. But this is what it looks like. This colour is still really wearable, it kind of reminds me of my Huda Beauty Liquid lipstick in Girlfriend, but a bit more pinkier. These definitely do not dry because I've had these sitting for quite a while now since I started. I've been filming for like I would say 20 minutes now. They do stay quite creamy, um, but this colour is actually really nice. I would definitely pair it with a lip liner for myself. This obviously will appear darker if you're fairer and if you are more deeper in skin tone it will appear more like of a pastel color so um but yeah this is what it looks like on my skin tone and i actually really like it i just definitely need a lip pencil with it this is what dead lips look like in natural daylight but i really like it and this is the one i'm gonna wear for the rest of the day i really do like him i like all three of them actually i mean it is quite sunny right now but this is what the colors look like in daylight on my hand you see how they have that slight shine to it so those are the color on me and swatched and in daylight um, i'm not going to wear this color this is dead lips i'm just going to keep this color for the rest of the day well i need to go for a doctor's appointment um it's now two o'clock so i'll probably wear this till around like five because i do need to edit and have this video up for you guys today but i'm going to see like how it stays on if i do need to reapply it or like after like a few hours how it really looks like so i'll be back later on in this video and we shall see how it looks like it's now five like 15 past five or something literally i'm sweating it can be like so cold outside but if i'm like running around and running errands like i'll just get like heat flashes it's so weird but anyways back to the lipstick i think it's doing all right i mean it's not perfect because it's only been like what three four five five three hours it's only been three hours and it's kind of fading already but to be honest it's not a dry liquid lipstick a dry liquid lipstick, for example, my Huda Beauty one can last up to like six hours without me touching up and it's completely fine. But I have eaten and drunk actually as well and been outside in the rain. So to be honest, it's holding up pretty well. It's kind of fading on the rim area where like my, you can kind of see the pigmentation in my lips come through a little bit. But my lips feel very hydrated still and very comfortable and like not dry. Um, it just feels really nice. Like it feels like I'm not really wearing anything. Like when I look at myself, it does look like I have lipstick on. Um, the scent is not there anymore. I mean, in the first hour, it did kind of like taste like the scent. It was so weird because obviously it's on my mouth. I could kind of taste the scent and it, you know, when you put a bit of soap in your mouth, it kind of was like that. Um, it wasn't 
overwhelming for me but if you guys are if some of you are sensitive to scent and to taste of weird things then maybe you won't like this but the scent does go away and the taste goes away like after an hour or something so um, it's alright like it's not that bad and to be honest I will definitely keep wearing these I feel like I really really like them um, just the way like it makes your lips look so plump and like hydrated it doesn't crack my lips up it is dry but it feels very comfortable it feels like I'm not wearing anything so and it, it takes two seconds to reapply it anyway so I'm not really bothered by that I always keep the lipstick that I'm wearing in my bag anyways I would actually rate this maybe like a 9 out of 10 Maybe I feel like the longevity of it could could do some improvement, but the shades, the price, and the, the formula, the wand, the packaging, it's all perfect. I definitely recommend it. Give it a try. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you have tried it, let me know what you think already. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed doing this. I had a ton of fun doing this. Give this video a thumbs up if you want more product reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!